are your top tips for people that are taking part in this? Um, try and stay on your feet if you can. It's wet this year, so it's going to be near impossible. And just, if you're not at the front, just try and stay out of trouble of being like hit by other people. dream come true honestly I just when I got up from tumbling I was like am I did I win <laughs> by God's grace you know I somehow got the cheese <laughs> We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm, climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. 